Hello guys, welcome back to Geology Concepts. So in this video, I'll discuss the topics that I'll cover in the in my upcoming videos related to gate examination and other examinations. So this is a part one of the video in which I'll discuss the first row, as you can see, mineralogy, earth and planetary sciences, remote sensing, igneous, seismology, structure, and prospecting methods. And I'll discuss. I'll I'll mention the subtopics that I will cover in my videos. So let's start. First, for mineralogy, uh, I already made my four videos in uh, mineralogy section. There is a playlist, but uh, it's not complete. I'll complete it by introducing the physical properties of the minerals, optical properties, then polymorphous and isomorphic mineral. There are questions coming from these parts. Then the, the magnetic properties of the uh, minerals and the rock forming minerals. This is the most important rock forming minerals. I'll cover all the important nine minerals which are mostly found in the rocks and uh, explain it in detail so, okay so this is for the mineralogy section next we'll go to earth and planetary sciences in this i'll discuss first the solar system and earth with respect to other planets and all the properties like eccentricity and all other properties related to planet as a whole okay then we'll go into the earth structure and shape then we'll discuss international gravity formula, the value of G at various places, how it changes, then Arian Pratt gravity model, Bogger anomaly, and other correction like terrain correction and all. Then major and minor discontinuities, discontinuities inside the earth as we grow from surface to the core. Okay. So all these topics I've selected are the topics which have been asked many times in the examination. So all these are the relevant topics. Okay, and then geomagnetism, paleomagnetism, paleo latitudes what how they are related okay how what, what is the concept behind it because the questions are coming from concepts okay then isoconic lines and other magnetic properties so this will cover all the earth and planetary sciences okay next we will go to remote sensing this is an important topic but it's not a very big topic you can uh, we'll continue we'll start with the principles of remote sensing then we'll go into various atmospheric windows okay like h2o window then minerals and from like sensors in the satellites okay then we'll go to electromagnetic spectrum analysis with respect to remote sensing to which part of the electromagnetic spectrum is relevant for what kind of uh, observations okay then we'll go to aerial photography techniques okay then there are numerical which are coming from these parts okay so we'll look into that we'll solve some problems get into the concepts and also we'll finally study the digital numbers okay uh, digital number is a uh, last time it has been asked and uh, it has it has become relevant so we'll discuss it and if we'll if some time permit we'll also discuss some of the satellites of india that are launched okay so isro is making tremendous progress so you know who knows there may be a question from satellites also okay so next is seismology this is important p and s phase basics we'll see p and s phase relationship with other modulus like uh, modulus of rigidity then bulk modulus shear modulus okay acoustic impedance resistivity and resistance it is used to measure uh, okay we used to measure the resistivity of the ground and you know there are methods for that then there's beach ball concepts we'll look into that seismic refraction the survey methods earthquake and its measurements Okay, there are various scales of earthquake measurement. We'll look into that. Then PCP, SCA, as you can see in this figure also. Okay. So we'll look into that also. This part you see here. SCS, PKP, PVR, all these ways. How, how are they named? We'll look into that. Okay. Then, then we'll see important oceanic ridges. Okay. So that's it for seismology. Next is trilogy. We'll see various... Uh, we will... In, in, in igneous petrology, we'll go to the petrology basics and magma composition, Bowen reaction principle, differentiation, assimilations, AQPF diagram and AKF diagram, then various systems, binary and ternary, and then chemical analysis based numerical are asked. We'll look into that. So this will cover all the major sections of igneous petrology. And uh, I'll, if you have some other important thing that is being missed, then we'll cover that also. Okay then there is structural geology structural geology we will go to the fold and faults ramp all these basics very quickly then we'll go into deformations phases and forms then strength of rocks plasticity elasticity more circle we'll discuss in very detail 
then we'll go to igneous and sedimentary structures erosional features plate tectonics is important we'll go into that then we'll go into stereo projections symbols and map reading your maps are coming in exams prospecting methods there are types of methods you know how to find minerals coal logging techniques well logs and then there's venner array pole dipole array various types of arrays questions are coming and drill course international geomagnetic reference field very low frequency method time domain method theorem method etc all these prospecting methods we will cover well, at least there are two questions each year from this sections okay from prospecting methods video and this is the part one of this video in the next part you can see the other topics in detail so if something you have you want me to include please mention it in the comments and uh, i'll make sure that i'll make a video on that okay so for the time being like this video share this with your friends who are preparing for examination they might not know they, this this can help them this video series can help them so also subscribe so that uh, i get the motivation to prepare more and more videos okay so thank you very much bye for now